Hello. In last week's vlog, which was at Porthtra Castle in North Wales with David Griffiths, I mentioned that I might be going to Port Merion. I did do that, and that's what this vlog is going to be about in a couple of seconds. But I have a problem, and I need your help, photographers out there. I have this lens which I've, I was using in the vlog that you're about to see, which is a Pentax Asahi 50mm Super Takamar lens, and um, it all is absolutely fine, apart from it's not quite working for me for panoramas. The problem is that when they're stitched together, I'm getting banding. The odd thing is that the banding doesn't correspond to how many shots I took. So this shot is made up of, I think, five shots, but there are far more bands than that if you really look at it. They're, they're really quite obvious in the vlog. So if you can suggest what the problem is, uh, here and if there's anything that I can do either in Lightroom and Photoshop or when I take the shot in the first place uh, to mitigate this problem that I'm having with panorama shots specifically. But other than that, just take a look at this vlog and let me know what you think. It's from Port Merion in North Wales and uh, here we go. <laughs> In this video I said that Merrill's a really bad grip, so I'm really nervous going down a quite steep hill with loads of leaves on it now. signposted place so I'm just trying to figure out the best way to go but I think we're going down to either the beach or the lighthouse. So we've done Port Merion town. We're now wandering around the Woodland Trail which has lots of, uh, well the tree trail actually, which has lots of little plaques. I've got the Super Takamar 50mm f1.4. I've used it a couple of times but not that much yet. So it gives a sort of old world feel. It's a 50 year old lens at least, it might be 60 year old. Obviously it's fully manual. But I've heard very good things about, about this lens so I bought it off eBay. Now I'm giving it a try in this woodland, in Port Merion, in North Wales. Obviously I've got the option of ramping up the ISO because it's quite dark in, in the woodland now. In the woodland now. But I don't want to, I want to try and keep it at 100 ISO because Apart from anything else, this is going to be a sort of a comparison for myself, so I know what this Pentax Isani Super Takamar 50mm all manual f1.4 lens is capable of. So it really, really needs to be a level playing field for me to know that. I really like it so far. That's it. There's not, there's not a huge amount of things to uh, take shots of. 
So we've come to a bit of a lookout point and I've got you one of your more traditional landscape shots, which has got a bit of headland there, there's middle distance and certainly another headland as long distance. There's nothing in the uh, there's nothing in the foreground. There's this little twig just off to the left which I actually want to avoid because um, it just makes the shot look a bit ugly. But um, if I can if, if I can expose the shot right, I quite like it. What was the middle interest with no foreground interest in the previous shot is now become the foreground interest. I've got a new headland to be the middle interest and the same long distance is the far ground interest. Um, I'm going to try this as a stitched pan panoramic with the 50mm lens which I haven't tried before so this may or may not work, who knows. I suppose you'll see it now if it has worked. So I don't know what I think of Port Merion really. I mean you pay a bit to get in which is a bit odd because it's just a, a mini mini village. It's got some cafes, it's got a couple of shops. It's quite nice, it's a bit weird, it all feels a bit fake. And the Italian influence only seems to go so far. But uh, I think it's worth a visit if you're down this way. And I think I've got some photos worth taking, whether they are keepers in the photography sense of the word. I'm not sure yet. But uh, I've enjoyed the outing and that was, uh, that's the point of the beast I suppose. So thanks for joining me on this one. See you again soon. Leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.